Hi, I'm Dr. Kiki Sanford, and today on Food Science, we're going to have fun with Shining Silver. Getting tarnished silver clean can be a real hassle with all the creams and the polishes and the hours spent rubbing the silver. Growing up, one of my chores was polishing the tarnished silver in the house. My parents always had parties and I always had to clean the silver and somehow it always seemed like it was dirty, making it one of my least favorite chores. However, now I know that there is a much easier way to get that tarnished silver sparkling clean. It's called the electrolytic cleaning plate. This little plate doesn't look like much, just a thin sheet of metal with some holes drilled in it, but what it can do is actually really surprising. First you take the metal plate and you put it in some kind of a wash basin. Then cover the plate with water up to a level that will actually cover the silver objects that you're trying to get clean. I'll make sure this is nice and full of hot water. Make it as warm or as hot as you possibly can. And then we're going to take washing soda, sprinkle it over the plate, and then let it dissolve in a little bit. You're going to take your silver and make sure it's contacting the aluminum plate. Give it a second to start acting and you should see it just start going. There are bubbles that will start to rise and you'll actually see some kind of a sulfur gas rising from the surface of the water. It might smell a little bit like rotten eggs. Around about 30 seconds, your silver should be pretty much clean. You can take it out of your hot water, give it a little rinse, and then wipe it off. The tarnish on this fork is actually called silver sulfide. It comes from the silver in the fork reacting with sulfur in the atmosphere. You can try rubbing it off with polishes, but you're actually going to lose some of your fork. In the reaction involving the aluminum plate, the silver sulfide is chemically converted back into silver, so you don't actually lose any silver. Many metals, in addition to silver, will form compounds with sulfur. But some of them, like aluminum, actually have a greater affinity for the sulfur. In this experiment, the sulfur atoms are being transferred from the silver to the aluminum, freeing up the silver and forming aluminum sulfide. The temperature of the water helps to speed up the reaction. So the warmer the water, the faster the reaction goes. The washing soda, which is also known as sodium carbonate, acts to create an electrolytic current that builds a salt bridge that carries the electrons of the sulfur from the silver to the aluminum. Since I know how this plate works, I wonder if I can replace it with something from around my house, like aluminum foil. And lo and behold, it works. But remember, it's not just food, it's science. 